The state of Barinas, birthplace of the late revolutionary president Hugo Chavez, is at the center of a new dispute between Venezuela's government and the opposition. It is here where the Chavez family has been ruling for over 20 years, with the late president's brother, Argenis Chavez, in charge as governor. But as the votes were being tallied after last month's contested governor's race, the Supreme Court disqualified opposition candidate Freddy Superlano, alleging pending investigations, and said the election should be scrapped and held again. The Supreme Court of Justice set a date for a new electoral contest for January the 9th. However, the date that all Venezuelans were waiting for next year was the election to choose the president of the republic, or a recall referendum, and that's the governorship of the state of Barinas. In November's elections, Venezuela's Socialist Party won in 19 provinces, the opposition in only three. The opposition was divided in many states across the country. Barinas, the heart of the Hugo Chavez revolution, is one state the government cannot afford to lose. The European Union observed the elections for the first time in 15 years, and in a preliminary report said that even though improvements had been made, the elections happened with no independent judicial oversight or election law enforcement. Argenis Chavez announced he was stepping down after the electoral scandal. I present my resignation from office effective as of today in order to facilitate this transition process until the elections proposed by the highest court of the republic take place. Now, all the eyes are on Barinas and on the opposition's capacity to unite to defeat the ruling party in the new vote set for January. Analysts say it's the little fights that count in the struggle for democracy. En todos los espacios. The only way out is by weakening the regime, and that is achieved where you can get strength out of them. The situation in Barinas generates this, a conflict within the regime, and to do that you have to participate in elections, force them to expose themselves. Venezuela has been struggling through a political and economic crisis for years. The elections were for many a path towards dialogue. But the situation in Barinas exposes the enormous challenges still ahead. Teresa Wong, Al Jazeera.